When I was eight, my grandmother, who's from the Philippines, moved in with us, and my brothers and I were so happy because not only could she smoke a cigarette with the lighted end in her mouth, she was also the queen of stories about the Filipino vampires called Aswang. She'd be cooking dinner and she'd just start talking about them. When you observe a dog walking and his back legs is too high and he is watching you, that is the Aswang in the daytime. But at night, the Aswang transforms into a lady who can cut herself in half and ply in the air. Her legs is staying at home, but my golly, she is plying. Aswang is the number 100% scared in a man. She have a long tongue, thin like a straw and sharp like a needle. She go on the ceiling over your bed and she is watching you because, Kase, you don't mind your grandma. You throw your clothes everywhere, my golly. Then her tongue start to unroll down on you. My brothers and I are on the edge of our seats. Yeah, yeah, and then my mother cuts her off. Hoy, that's enough. No, mom, let her finish. You know why your mommy don't want me to tell you of the Aswang? Because she believes on it. Mom waves her off. No, I do not. She does. But she thinks there is no Aswang in America because Aswang cannot fly over the ocean and the favorite tree of the Aswang does not grow here now. But the Aswang can fly everywhere and the Aswang does not care about that tree. It will sit even on the television antenna. You see sometimes the picture is jumping. That is the Aswang. My mom leans forward. Hoy, stop, they'll get nightmares. Nako, it is you who will have the nightmares. Mom looks at us. It's only a story. Grandma lights a cigarette. It is just a story, of course, but it is true. That Halloween, there was no doubt about what I was going to be. The costume was simple. I rigged a burlap bag around my waist to cover my legs, and I had a long piece of skinny red licorice for my bad Aswang tongue. But when I looked in the mirror, I could tell something was missing. Grandma, what else do Aswangs look like? My grandma's looking at me through a cloud of smoke. Nako, don't, Linda. Be careful. The real Aswang could get mad at you. Come on, Grandma, there's no real Aswang. She looks serious. Well, anyway, I'm just telling you. That was the night I learned that you should always listen to a woman who can hold a live coal in her mouth. When I woke up Halloween morning, the walls looked like they were breathing and I had a fever of 103. Grandma, Grandma, the Aswang got me. My mother bends over me. You have the flu, Linda. It has nothing to do with the Aswang. Grandma touches my forehead. Yes, darling, don't worry about the Aswang because, anyway, it is daytime. Right now the Aswang is a dog. I spend the day on the couch drinking 7-Up and shivering under blankets. I miss the school Halloween party. My brother Michael told me about it. The sixth graders built this taped up box thing where you stick your hands in and feel a dead guy's brains and eyeballs and hair. The brains was spaghetti, the eyeballs was grapes, and the hair, I think, was hair. So you come in trick-or-treating? I sit up. Mom, guess what? I'm better. You stay right there. That was the only night I ever missed trick-or-treating. The night of the Aswang. It's the flu, my mother says. My grandma nods. Yes, and it's better inside anyway because the Aswangs is really plying on this night. My mother shoots her a look. Will you stop it? Then grandma freezes. She sits there with fire in her mouth smoke coming out of her nose, and her eyes glued to the picture window. Nakopo! Nakopo! Look!